People have thought for a long time, could you make a, a lightsaber? We don't have one today. We can imagine that it's possible to do that in the next few uh, decades. So I think the laser is the most obvious candidate for, for a lightsaber. And after all, it's called a lightsaber, and lasers are based on light. So the biggest problem with the idea of a laser is laser beams just go in a straight line and keep going forever. In fact, we bounce laser beams off the moon and back. So the idea of a lightsaber where the laser beam only goes so far, I think it's about four and a half feet, and stops, doesn't make a lot of sense. That's the biggest challenge. We have this technology nowadays that allows us to squeeze light through holes that are smaller than its wavelength. And when that happens, the light beam stops propagating. It only penetrates out a small distance and then stops. So in principle, that technology, which we're beginning to use for a lot of things nowadays, could be designed to create a beam that only goes a certain distance and doesn't go any further. Yeah, so one of the things that's been raised, in fact, there's a YouTube from Neil deGrasse Tyson about this, the question about how can you do this with lasers, when you bang these two lightsabers together, they, just like swords, they stop. And laser beams should go right through each other. So there's been, that's been discussed quite a bit, and I think it's, it's likely that if you could explain that and make something that would do that if the density of light was extremely high, then in fact, there's a thing called nonlinear effects that would mean the light beams would repel each other. So that is possible. The next concern is how do you get the energy and power that you need to have that sort of powerful beam. If you look at the lasers we use today for drilling holes through steel, they take a lot of power. My estimate is it would take about 50 kilowatts, which is more power than your house is using most of the time. But we are working very aggressively on technology for storing energy, and that's something that's important for a lot of our, you know, our future around here in terms of uh, energy uh, efficiency and renewable energy and so on. And I think we'll find a way in, in the next few decades to make lighter weight, higher power sources. So I do really believe it's possible. The question would be, do we want to invest the amount of time and money it would take to build a lightsaber? As an engineer, I think if you really want to do anything that doesn't completely violate the laws of physics, you probably can do it. It can cost an awful lot of money. And the question is, is it really something that you need to do? But it's, it's a great way to stimulate imagination and stimulate technology.